Good morning and welcome or good afternoon or good evening or whatever it is in your part of the world. Um, but it's morning here in Australia. So welcome. This was a pour I did a number of weeks ago. In um, It was a pour over a previous print that I'd bought. Um, I will link the video to the original piece of art. So what I'm going to do now is embellish it with acrylic pens, Posca pens, um, and do some discs over those beautiful, beautiful um, balloon kisses. So I will quickly, hopefully, go through this part for you doing the embellishing of the discs. And it's in preparation for kind of making those look as though they're floating, but then to have resin on the disc work only. So let's see how we go. finished painting, um, just doing my 3D effect. I found a real easy way to, I'm, I'm absolutely hopeless at doing the shading that's required to make it, you know, look extra special. But I, of course, you know, I have <laughs> found an easy way, like I find, like to find with anything in, at my age, is the easy way is the best way. So, um, I, found, uh, I was sent these pens from um, Capriol Shabby Chic a long time ago and I didn't realise that they're actually dual tip art markers so you've got a thin end, a nice thin end could be for just adding some nice fine detail in there and then you've got the nice chubby end for adding you know thicker lines so what I've found is of course so if you want to order these you'll find them on Capriol Shabby Chic but they're great because they've got dual tips so what I have found which is so cool where's my black one the black one is what I've been using for my to enhance the 3d look in these particular circle so when I did the first bit you know you would have just used the fine tip so then to do the shading you just pop off the other end and you've got the nice thicker tip to do where am I so this is my easy way so obviously in 3d the light is sort of coming from one way it always looks you do that sort of thicker side at one end I don't know I never I just never really take much notice of it, it doesn't have to be perfect oh then I'll just spray some isopol alcohol over the ink that I just put on so then makes it workable again and then it's quite easy to use that ink then to do your shading because it's it's sort of watered down um, and you can then use it to feather out to make it the you know the shade that you require to make it kind of stand out and look 3D. So it's just a very easy way um, because otherwise this is very um, time consuming and it can be tedious for some but I definitely find it if I can sit here and just go through this it's very therapeutic so and you kind of got that shading then that looks like you know helps your piece to look more stand out from the actual whole thing so that's just my easy found way of doing the shading to make these 3d discs stand out and of course what i'm doing with this piece when it is dry i'm gonna I'm going to only resin the bubbles, the discs in here, so the discs actually stand out from the rest of the painting. I will go over the whole painting 
with just a varnish to seal it all but then I will go over just the discs in resin so they stand out. There's no reason why you can't just pick a part in your painting to resin. I've seen lots of works of art in my um, local Montville uh, artist place that or has lots of art from other artists and I see that they've got lots of pieces that were only resined in certain spots. So what I will do as I kind of see fit is just go round with now I've realised I've got these wonderful markers from Capriol Shabby Chic. This is a nice blue one so I can use them to pick out just I mean it doesn't jump off the page but it sort of you know can pick out your detail you don't even have to do this but if you want a little bit of detail in your fine lines I'll just go continue on going around picking out a few spots and then like I said my next stage will be I'll resin it for you guys and show you what it looks like resined so it does look like 3D and I reckon when I resin this it will really look it'll you know it'll just lift the whole thing so good idea and I'm loving it loving it loving it okay we're on the next stage I have finished what I wanted to do highlighted these um, circles discs or whatever Ever you want to call them I yesterday I just took this outside when it was dry and I just sprayed over the whole lot actually with the Krylon Kmar varnish it's non yellowing protection for oil acrylic and water keeps fresh from acid free blah 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 so perfect if you just want to spray over and make sure your whole piece is protected. So that's what I did yesterday. Um, I do have some kind of cracking here, but it actually adds to kind of texture in the paint. So that's all sealed. So I'm only hoping now that my next stage, we just, you can get that from the online store, Capriol. Um, my next stage is to just highlight the circles with the resin so i have got my this is um two part equal parts a and b like resin which i have got the two parts so i'm going to pour one into the other and now i will mix for a good three minutes to get rid of all the air bubbles and ready for use so i will um yeah just do that off camera or just do it and speed this bit up so it's not too boring so the two pieces are added together and it's now just stir 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 for about three minutes temperatures dropped here today because we're very rainy but i'm not too worried about the bubbles because i can when i put them on the the um resin on I can burst the bubbles with my little heat wand so I've got a little sponge brush I'm going to use I doubt whether I'll be able to use this brush afterwards I'll probably just throw it away because of the resin I'm not going to work for ages trying to save that little brush so I'm just hoping this works so let's I only want my circles so maybe I should only do the big circles too so that it's like highlights them above the rest. Let's go over this with a heat gun. 
getting rid of the bubbles for sure. Maybe I can just work it with a heat gun so I might not even have to use my It doesn't have to be perfectly in the circles, but I'll try and just make sure that my circles have got it. I mean, even after this, I could go over with one of those markers to outline the circles even more. I think I'm going to do the inner one too. Yeah, why not? Why not? So I'll share some of this love up here. I'll do just do my circles in the um, resin. I'm sure it'll look beautiful. I don't want to resin a whole lot. I want those circles to just pop for the rest of the canvas. So. I'll definitely show it you fully finished and dry. 